Hi Virgo! Welcome back! So this is going to be for the week of November 12th. Um, I'm going to stick with the you versus them spread. So Virgo, I'm going to pull one line of cards on what your hopes, fears, blockages, and next movement forward is. And then I'm going to pull one line of card for the person in question, what their hopes, fears, blockages are, and what their next actions are. Um, and it can pertain to anybody. Um, it can pertain to your partner, spouse, ex, family member, coworker, whatever. Um, and because it's a general reading, it can go vice versa. So you might want to choose which side resonates best with you. For something specific to you, I'm happy to do a private reading, and that information is down below. If you want to contact me for that. Otherwise, let's see what you got going on, Virgo. Woo! I hope everybody's having a good week and off to a good start for their weekend. Okay, Virgo, in your current energy, there's a sense of like withholding. Okay, some of you have a toxic person in your life right now that you feel you need to protect yourself from. Okay, I also see like some element of like temptation or addiction either surrounding this person or yourself. Okay, and um, there might be some type of secrets coming out this week. So that's very interesting. I'll show you the cards. You, Some of you might be dealing with a Leo or a Pisces. Remember, it's a general reading. doesn't have to be any of those signs. Don't get caught up on that, guys. <laughs> so interesting. Pretty strong energy right off the bat. So Virgo, the person external to you, what is their current energy? So, Virgo, the person external to you uh, might be a little bit immature uh, with their communication. Um, some of you might be dealing with a child like this. It doesn't have to be, but you have the uh, Page of Swords and the Knight of Swords. So, definitely getting communication this week, okay? And like I said, there might be something coming out this week. All right. Um, sometimes I see the Page of Swords as... Um, somebody that can be um, a liar. They might be stalking you or watching your social media or you them. I mean, that can go vice versa. But, you know, if none of that, I just see some type of communication coming through in their current energy and there's some immaturity around it. Okay? Interesting. Virgo, how you see or feel towards this person. How you see or feel this person, how you view this person. Excuse me. <laughs> Yeah, okay. This is going to be a very specific message, so this is not going to be for all the Virgos watching. Um, you, view, you view this person as somebody that um, is like a one-upper. Oh, okay. <laughs> you got a ton of cards. <laughs> as this is going to be like reading a book. Serious. <laughs> um, I think you've had conflict with this person in the past. You know, um, one of the parties felt defeated within the um, conflict. Um, I feel like this person makes you feel burdened, um, like you're carrying a heavy weight. Some of you are dealing with Scorpio. It doesn't have to be. But I just see there was a break here, okay, either a break in the relationship with this person or some type of shocking event. Like I said, I saw that in your energy, like secrets coming out or something coming out, receiving communication about this. And this communication could be either online, text, or phone call, because I do see uh, this is like quick communication. Okay, so I see some sort of news that you weren't expecting coming out, and that kind of stalls any movement forward uh, with this person. I, I feel like, too... Um, Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hold on, let me get all the cards out. Wow. 
Um, I feel like there's another scenario here or like another situation going on where some of you, or it might be the same situation where um, like some sort of shocking news came out. It kind of put things to a halt. But then somebody's here wanting to either offer an apology or love. Um, or you view this person as trying to offer you like some type of reconciliation in Virgo. I just see you like, you know, no. <laughs> I don't feel like you're very open to it this week. Or that's in your energy. And like I said, this could have been somebody that you felt very close to. Um, even like a soulmate connection to, um, like I said, there is, you've got the seven of swords here. So like I said, there, there might've been some sneaky behavior going on with this person. Um, this person might've even stolen from you and that might've been what came out. Um, that's not going to be for all of you cause that's super specific. But I just feel like, yeah, there's de somebody definitely trying to offer a reconciliation here. And Virgo, I feel like you're in your head about it, uh, but you're trying to be optimistic about the situation, although you're not communicating. So I feel like this person might be communicating with you and you might not be communicating back with this person. Um, you might be withholding a lot of your emotions regarding this person or they you. Remember, this can go vice versa. So, yeah, that's a very specific story line there guys. <laughs> I just got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 cards came out of the deck for how you view this person. So Virgo, I feel like you got a lot to say uh, either about this person or to this person. I do also see like some gossip here. So you might be talking about this situation among like your friends and stuff. <laughs> or they might be doing this, you know. So let's see what the person external to use energy is. Some of you, this is something to deal with your spouse. That's not going to be for all of you. And like I said, I see children here. So the person external... Like I said, for some of you, you're not communicating with this person and that you're on a break. Or maybe you are communicating, but it's it's not the best communication. Yeah. So this person, like I said, is they're really thinking over this situation. Um, I feel like... There's some type of financial tie here. And like I said earlier, I saw that in uh, your energy, Virgo. Um, but it's like some of you are going to court with somebody. I'm sorry. I'm getting like a really specific storyline here. Somebody, Some of you are thinking about getting like a judge involved in this situation. You know, because there was some, like, underhanded s stuff going on here. And I feel like whoever this person is external to you, there's a complete ending with them. You know, it's like a break period where you think about it, or they think about it, and then a complete ending. And, and you're trying to maintain your composure. That would be the reason that either they are doing that or you are doing that. They see you as... Um, being financially stable, again, finance is coming up again. They see potential with you. You know, Virgo, this might be a situation you're aware of that's external to you, but, but is not actually going on with you for some of you. Okay, but there's some element here of trying to regain balance here. Wow. <laughs> I'm going to need you guys to comment and tell me what this one is about. Virgo, what are your next actions? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
So Virgo, I think, you know, you're turning your back on, I, like I said, I think there, you're, there's somebody trying to communicate here and somebody is not communicating back. And I think, you know, there might be some really eruptive emotions that happen this week. Um, some, I mean, look at this explosion here, right? So I feel like if there, you know, if you do communicate, there is going to be some type of major conflict here. And I see the devil card is here as well. So um, there might be addictions involved with this situation. Um, some of you feel like this person is toxic. <clears throat> And I feel like your focus is to continue to turn your back on this and really to focus on yourself and your your own, you know, well-being. If I was reading this as a relationship, I mean, that is some type of relationship or some event you're aware of. But also, I got another scenario, so hold for that. <laughs> if this is regarding, like, a love situation. Um, but I don't think for some of you this is love. I think this is something you're aware of that's happening external. Okay. Okay. So in the partner's next steps. Yeah, so you got the tower in your energy and they got the tower in their energy. So that's always good confirmation when I get the same card twice. So yours... Yours was like, it was, it was shocking, but it wasn't shocking because I think like a mo most of you had some intuition or inner knowledge about this. But for them, the events that occur after this and the, you know, everything coming out and, and the consequences of that was shocking to them. Okay. Because I think for a lot of them, um, there's a lot of love there in this relationship. Okay. I also feel like uh, this person might have a temper or like an ego problem because I do see ego here or just like puffed up pride, you know. Um, yeah, so that's one scenario. Now here's another scenario. This might not resonate with all of you. If it doesn't, you know, fast forward. There is some Virgos that I'm reading for that are watching this that have a toxic um, situation going on with uh, two males. One of them may be married. One of them, um, <laughs> and because it's a general reading, I guess it could be male or female. But I'm reading for a Virgo that has two people involved in their situation, okay? Um, one of them either might be married or divorced. But I see, like, the, the secrets coming out regarding this. Uh, one of the males is definitely intimidating to you, that you feel like they're toxic. Um, there's, like, some type of information that's coming out that's, that caused a lot of conflict, that put a halt to one relationship, but yet reconciled the other relationship. Okay? Um, and the reason I say that is because I do see uh, quite a few people involved here, and I have the Three of Cups. And sometimes the Three of Cups denotes to me like a third-party situation, okay? Um, and I feel like coming up in the near future, as far as your actions to take, I see either both parties involved are turning their back on you or you them. Um, I feel like you feel a very strong toxic attraction to one of them, if not both of them, okay? And the person external to use energy... Um, you know, they, they're in love with you. I got Scorpio twice here and I have a fire sign twice, Aries, Leo, Sag. Um, so it doesn't have to be those signs, but you know, there is definite love going on here. There's a breakup and then there's somebody in love. <laughs> there is somebody who's watching from afar, like stalking or spying. There's gossip going on. Some of you might be thinking about getting a legal separation because of this, or they are thinking about that, like the external party. I see if you have a spouse, they might be the one thinking about that. 
Wow. So that's, you know, that's a scenario too. <laughs> so pick which one is yours. And please do comment and tell me what's going on here. Okay. All right. Um, Virgo, your blockages and hope. So, yeah, Virgo, you are hoping to get all of the information here. You are, your, your hope is also to receive an apology. And like I said earlier, I think somebody has tried to give an apology and you might not be accepting it. You know, so the blockage is not being open to the apology. It's having confusion around the situation, not having all the facts there to make a decision to be able to open up. And Virgo, the person externals to you, hope and fear. We got the Four of Wands and the World card. So their hope is to... They want stability, you know? If this is a family situation and all of this craziness is occurring, this person wants to wrap this whatever up and have their stability back again. And their fear is that like this, uh, this will continue to cycle within their lives and they'll continue to feel unstable. That's regardless of if, if you're in scenario one or scenario two. Wow, Virgo. Let me know what happens. <laughs> Or what's going on? Let's see what the overall message is for you, Virgo. The overall message for Virgo. It says, the situation will improve. <laughs> My camera keeps getting blurry. So, I mean, that kind of says it all. I, you know, you, I, I feel like not all you, all you have is to go up from here. You know what I'm saying? Like you have so much stuff going on, <laughs> you know, how can it not improve? So just remember guys that these energies are short term. Okay. Uh, you always have free will. Um, so the energies are changeable as well. Let me tell you the Zodiac signs I see here involved. Don't get caught up on it because it is a general reading. I see, uh, like I said, Scorpio twice here. Um, I see Capricorn. I see Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I see a Libra. Uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Leo. I've got Leo twice. Um, Cancer, Pisces again, I got Pisces twice, <laughs> it's like a million people here, <laughs> I don't remember if I said, I have the earth signs here, so Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and I think that's all of them, really guys, so um, please do uh, let me know if this resonates, and if it does, please do like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you next week, bye!